Hi guys, this is George back here with another video and welcome to uh, the first video in a brand new series here on the channel. This series isn't going to last very long, it's only going to last a couple of weeks. And basically what this is, is it's a temporary replacement of George Kelly Roller Coasters Weekly. So instead of having all the other segments, it's just going to be the news. That That's why the, this, these are called the news updates. There will be a couple of these, however normally they will be uploaded on Saturdays. The reason why this one's not being uploaded on a Saturday is because uh, those Saturdays are going to be every other Saturday. It's not going to be weekly, it's going to be one episode every fortnight and that is because I'm only going to be filming them normally at my dad's. And that's because we've got a lot going on here with our move. I have found some time to do some videos so I'm going to be filming a few videos in a row now which will be going up in the next few days. So here we go, that's what this series is all about and we've got a lot of news to talk about in this episode. A lot of this is going to be very outdated at this point, but I'm still going to go through uh, with it with, uh, through it with you guys just in case you have not heard it yet. So here we go, let's get straight into it. So then guys, a while ago we had an announcement from Legoland Florida that they're going to be opening a brand new theme park and this is going to be themed to Peppa Pig. So it's going to be a Peppa Pig themed uh, park and it's going to open in 20, well it's planned to open in 2022. As far as uh, I know, I have, I don't know what, well I don't know what's going on on the site at the moment, I don't know if construction started, but we do have some concept art that I am going to show you, um, so that's going to be coming up on your screen uh, in a second. We don't really know uh, too much about the theme park yet, or at least I don't, I haven't really heard very much, so if you guys know a bit more about this than I do, then leave in the comments down below what you know about this, because I don't really know anything about it to be honest. So, in 2021, Fantasy Island are going to be opening a few new rides. So, one of them is going to be Spinning Racer, which is a brand new spinning coaster. Well, I say brand new. It's travelled around uh, the European fair circuit. I, th I believe it's been to a few places around Germany. Uh, and it's now here in the UK at Fantasy Island. And that is now open, because the park did open yesterday as of... Uh, I'm actually filming this on the 13th of April and the UK theme parks reopened yesterday. So there we go. As well as that, there is a new Caterpillar coaster that is there, but that's only a temporary ride because that's there uh, to fill in for their other new ride, which is not going to be opening until May because it is an indoor ride. I believe it is going to be located in the Pyramid, and we don't really know too much about this yet. It's going to be called The Guardian, and we don't really know anything about this. The park haven't really announced anything about this yet, but there is a little bit of concept art for this uh, that we can have a look at, and that'll be coming up on your screen right now. So then guys, uh, work has now resumed on Epic Universe. If you don't know what Epic Universe is, it's a new theme park that Universal Orlando are currently building. Uh, we don't really know when it's going to open at the moment because construction did stop for a while uh, while coronavirus uh, was around. Uh, but work has now uh, started up again, which is very exciting. In terms of the rides at Epic Universe, we still don't really know what's going to be going on. We haven't really heard too much about it, but it is going to be a fourth theme park located at Universal Orlando Resort. I say that, it's technically a third theme park since one of the others is a water park, but they do call Volcano Bay the water theme park, so it's one of those really. It's like a fourth park, but then like a third proper theme park, so of course Volcano Bay is a water park. But there we go, very exciting there uh, that work has continued and hopefully it won't be too long until it opens.
We have had an announcement from Epcot as their brand new ride will officially open on the 1st of October 2021 and that is Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. Of course there's already one of these at Disneyland Paris and it looks like a really good ride to be honest. I'd, I'd, I'd like to go and experience it. It looks like it's a really well themed ride and it's great to see that it is going to Epcot and getting another new ride at the park there. So there we go, very exciting to see that. The area that it's in, some of it, the area, is already open. So there is a new toilet block in there that's open, I believe, uh, that you can see. And you can go and see some other views uh, of what's going on with the construction. But on the 1st of October 2021, guests will be able to get on this ride for the first time and experience it. So there we go, very exciting news there from Epcot. We finally now have a name for the brand new Flying Theatre that is going to be opening at Legoland Windsor in 2021. Now, of course, the park did open yesterday. However, Lego Mythica, which is their brand new themed area for this year, is not going to be opening for another few weeks. And the, the signature attraction in there is the UK's first Flying Theatre. I'd like to go and experience this. It actually looks like it's going to be a really good ride. And it's going to be called Flight of the Sky Lion. And it's going to be opening on the 29th of May at Legoland Windsor. Because, of course, indoor attractions currently are not able to open until May 17th. So uh, this it obviously has to happen after May 17th. But it's going to be opening on the 29th of May. So hopefully later on in this year in the summer I'll go and experience this. There's also two new drop towers in this area. And they've rethemed the Squid Surfers attraction as well to fit in with the area. So hopefully I'll get to go and experience this this year. It's been a few years since I last went to Legoland. I've wanted to go for a little bit because I do want to go and ride the Haunted House Monster Party. That does look like it's a pretty good ride. It's a Vacoma Madhouse. A bit like Hex at all. Holton Towers and I really enjoy that. So there we go, very exciting news there from Legoland Windsor. I also forgot to mention in the last clip about Lego Mythica, the drop towers will be called Fire and Ice Freefall and the re-themed attraction for Squid Surfer, so it used to be called Squid Surfer, that's now going to be called Hydra's Challenge. So there we go, that is everything on Lego Mythica. We have some exciting news from Thought Park as they have announced that their brand new for 2021 attraction, Black, Black Mirror Labyrinth, will officially open on the 21st of May 2021. I'm excited to get into this. Uh, there's not really much known about this attraction so far. Of course, we do know it's going to be a walkthrough themed to Black Mirror, but other than that, I don't, we don't really know what's been going on. The park have been very secretive about this. We don't really know what's going on with this. So I'm looking forward to getting in there and finally being able to see this attraction. It was meant to open last year. However, of course, it was pushed back to this year because of COVID-19. So there we go. Looking forward to getting into this attraction and seeing what it's all about. I also forgot to mention in the last clip about the other two indoor attractions, well the two big indoor attractions at Thorpe Park. So, it is looking like that the 17th of May is when Darren Brown's Ghost Train and Walking Dead the Ride will open. Uh, I don't know if that's confirmed or anything because I don't really see many people talking about that. I believe that that is uh, the current date that they're hoping to get those open, but it could be May 21st uh, for when Black Mirror opens. I don't, I don't really know, to be honest. This is just something I heard, and I just wanted to include it in the video that just in case that that is uh, officially what's happening. But there we go. If you guys know more about this, comment it down below. But as of right now, that is what I believe uh, will be happening. So then, guys, there is a new water park that is going to be built in Derbyshire. Currently, uh, I don't really know too much about this, but looking at the concept art, it does look like that there's going to be a few slides, uh, there's going to be some outdoor and indoor pools, uh, and it looks like it's going to be really good to be honest. We don't really know when it's going to open, uh, hopefully uh, it won't be too long until it's open in a, couple, couple, a few years maybe. So yeah, looking forward to seeing this when it is finished.
We have some very exciting news from Plopsaland de Pan as their brand new roller coaster, The Ride to Happiness, has now started testing. This is a Mac Rides Extreme Spinning Coaster and this is only the second one that has been built because of course the, the currently the only one in operation is Time Traveller at Silver Dollar City and it's great to see that we're getting one in Europe and not only that, one that's not a, at a European park that's not so difficult to get to as well. It's the Plops of Landapan is not too far away from where we live. It's it's about it's not not too long to get to the train, and then from from the Euro Tunnel, it's probably about forty five minutes from there. So it's not too far to travel to go and get on this, which is great because I'm really excited to get on this. It looks absolutely brilliant. So then guys, I now have an image to share with you uh, from Gardaland, uh, and this is an image of the construction of their new Lego themed water park. So of course we heard a while ago that they'll be building a Lego themed water park, and there is a construction image that I, excuse me, there is a construction image that I am about to show you. It's looking really good, it looks like it's really well themed, and I don't know if, if I don't know what's going to be in this water park, if it's just going to be like, uh, like a kind of massive like kids area or if it's there's going to be other attractions but this is all, this is the only construction image that I found so he here it is The last bit of news we're going to be talking about in this episode is some very exciting news from the Disneyland Resort in California. They have announced a huge, well, plans for a huge expansion. So, of course, we don't know if this is going to happen yet, but this, this was announced a couple weeks ago, but uh, I haven't heard anything in terms of if it's been accepted or not. So... They have planned for a massive expansion of both of their parks. They currently have two theme parks there, and they are planning for big expansions of both of those theme parks. Of course, the original Disneyland and also uh, California Adventure there as well. They have also they've also got plans for new hotels and a new entertainment complex as well. Basically, by that I mean something uh, like Disney Springs, say, a Walt Disney World, or at Disneyland in California they already have Downtown Disney. I believe it's called Downtown Disney. I believe Disney Springs used to be called Downtown Disney before it was then changed to Disney Springs. So there we go, very exciting there, and of course this will feature lots of shops, I believe it's going to feature some restaurants as well, and also some hotels as well. So that is very exciting to see, so hopefully that does happen, as that will be another, another reason to go uh, to Disneyland in California. There's already a lot of reasons to go, and this is definitely going to make it so there's even more reasons to go. And already the park, well the whole resort looks absolutely incredible, and I really, really want to go sometime in the future. So then guys, this is now the end of this video here. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at George Kelly Roller Coasters, which is now my only Instagram account. I do still have the other two, but I'm, I don't post on those anymore. I have one account now for everything that's going to be posted on there, not just theme park related. Uh, follow me on Twitter at George Kelly and check out my other YouTube channel at Wealthy Eagle. I was about to say message me on Snapchat. Don't message me on Snapchat because I'm not on Snapchat anymore. I've, I just find it a bit of a waste of time to be honest, a bit of a waste of space because I literally never used it. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Stay safe everyone and I'll see you all later. Bye!